Listen, deep divers, that's the sound of nature. It's a beautiful day. I woke up like this all magical and fly. There's no place I'd rather be than with the birds, bees, leaves and trees. And I woke up energized, deep divers. Look, someone asked me, they're like, Ralph, why is it so challenging for me to sleep in peace and wake up energized? And that's a great question. We're really going to dive into it, deep divers. The information I'm about to share with you is going to rock you out of your chair. You're going to raise your eyebrows like the rock. You see, a part of my success, number one best selling books, YouTube Gold Award is about me learning the art of sleeping in peace and also my morning routine, waking up energized. I'm about to share it with you, deep divers. We got a whole lot to talk about, but first, let's breathe. That was special. Let's go, deep divers. Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. What are we doing? raising the frequency what else raising the vibration take that take that take that good ass energy i'm sending you peace infinite waters diving deep once again beautiful deep divers we are out here in the heart of nature and i hope you're taking care of yourself deep divers did you get a good night's sleep do you find it challenging to sleep in peace do you find it challenging to wake up energized? Well, you've come to the right place. I'm FaceTiming you right now. If you are watching this video, this is your confirmation from this moment on, from this moment and forward, you are going to wake up with so much energy. Even the cat down the road is going to be jealous. <laughs> Everything is about to shift in your favor in the most positive way if you're ready just say thank you i want everybody to smash that like button right now and share this video hit that like button right now and share this video because somebody out there needs to see this so let's talk about it deep divers there are so many people in this world who find it challenging to sleep in peace i can't get a good night's sleep ralph right that's a lot of people deep divers and there are so many people who have their morning routine jacked up. They can't seem to wake up energized, motivated, passionate. They feel lost and confused first thing in the day. So you've come to the right place because once upon a time I was there. Oh, I was there, deep divers. But somehow, some way, I got out of it. And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? Hey. So let me share with you what's helped me along my journey. That's a great question, by the way. Why is it so challenging for me to sleep in peace and wake up energized? Well, let's deal with the first part of the question. Why is it so challenging for me to sleep in peace? So as a psychology student, when I was 19, I was captivated by an individual called Victor E. Frankel. He is the founder of Logotherapy. And he spent some time in the concentration camps. And the only thing that helped him get through that was finding meaning. And that's what Logotherapy is all about. It's all about man's search for meaning, woman's search for meaning, even the cat down the road search for meaning. He said that every single human being must have meaning in their life to really become their greatest version. Now, if you are someone who has no meaning in your life, you got no purpose, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be very hard to get a good night's sleep. The reason why is because a lot of people are lost. They don't have direction. That was me a long time ago. But the moment I followed my purpose, I became rich. Mm. So rich. Slow motion this side. Mm. Right? I got people saying it with me. So remind yourself when we talk of why you can't get a good night's sleep, start brainstorming to say, okay, okay, what is it I came here to do on the planet? What is my heart beat for? Because there are people who don't do anything, but they're tired. You see, you want to be doing so much during the day that as soon as night comes, you just drift away. Now, during the day, your brainwave is beta. Then you have alpha. 
Then you have the then you have theta, then you have delta. The dream state is the delta state. So we have to learn how to wind down. This is how you learn how to sleep in peace. You have to learn how to wind down. A lot of people go through so much during the day and they don't know how to really calm down because you've got to prepare to go to sleep. Just like you prepare to wake up, you've got to prepare to get a good night's sleep. How do I do this? Listening to some beautiful classical music, getting my brainwave in that alpha state, doing a meditation, tuning into the power of now, losing my mind and coming to my senses, practicing mindfulness, no drama, reducing stress. Anytime you have a lot of stress, you ain't going to get a good night's sleep because you're producing a lot of cortisol heart rate is increasing your heart rate is increasing your blood pressure increasing it's impossible also seven day vegan challenge don't stuff your face just before bed it's like sleeping on a bed of nails learn to not eat two hours before you fall asleep in fact make it three hours so this is all going to help you get a good night's sleep but also most importantly learn how to be at peace with yourself a lot of people have a lot of inner demons and this is what keeps them up at night. A lot of people even get attacked by entities, succubus and incubus. They sit on you and steal your sexual energy. So you must learn how to purify your energy every single day. And this is how you're going to get a good night's sleep. You must live a fulfilled life, a life of meaning, a life of passion. And you must remind yourself that it's time to let go of everything out there the news the drama the gossip put that aside and spend some time with yourself going in that's the first part of that question so why is it so challenging for me to get a good night's sleep ralph for me to sleep in peace and wake up energized. So let's talk about waking up energized. Let's talk about the morning routine. Let me give you a secret, deep divers. What you do first thing in the day will set the tone for the rest of the day. What you do the first thing as soon as you wake up is going to govern everything else during your day. So that's why I always say start in peace. Whatever you do, start the day off in peace. No mobile phone, no TV. Just sitting with yourself. Go for a walk with the cat down the road or the dog down the road. Go power walking. But turn off all of those electrical devices. You see, a lot of people don't realize the reason why you're not waking up energized is because you're being distracted, bombarded with senseless information, distracting you from your true purpose, distracting you from becoming your greatest version. As soon as you wake up, this is what I do. I play the guitar. Why? Because you see, as soon as you wake up, the doors of the subconscious mind are opening. You can now reprogram your subconscious mind. Also, I'm going for a walk because once again, the subconscious mind works on imagery. So whatever you see the first thing in the day is going to inspire you or destroy you. So make sure you're seeing with your eyes inspiring scenery, a beautiful mountain, a beautiful tree. This is going to give you inspiration to feel like you can take on anything during the day. If you are someone who loves violent videos, world star, all of these things, this is the reason why it's challenging for you to sleep in peace and wake up energized because you've got to remind yourself anytime you watch a video, that is not really promoting inner peace or bringing you inner peace, it's full of violence. Don't you realize your subconscious mind can't tell the difference? Now it feels like you're actually there. Sometimes people watch videos of people getting run over, fighting, fighting, all kind of craziness. And you're not realizing the people, the people who actually experience that they were traumatized for the rest of their life. And now you watching that is going to go straight into your subconscious mind. That's the reason why a lot of people can't sleep well and wake up energized because you're dealing with trauma from everything you've been watching. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. You have to learn how to protect your energy. When we talk of the daily routine, 
You have to prepare for the day. Every single day, I'm coming outside, getting that vitamin D. A lot of people, they stay in their bedroom. As soon as they wake up, they just stay there. No, you want to come outside. You want to greet Gaia, Mother Nature. Do a little samba, baby. You want to raise the frequency. You want to practice a random act of kindness. You want to remind yourself to be in your heart space. You see, I always tell you this. The heart is 100,000 times more powerful than the brain electrically. And 5,000 times more powerful stronger than the brain magnetically so as you can learn to be in your heart as soon as you wake up you now become a superhuman god and a goddess a lot of people wake up full of hate envy and jealousy and this poisons you you want to wake up in good energy this will bring you good karma you want to wake up saying, hey, let me focus on myself. They want you focusing on everything outside there. You have to focus on your life. That is the most important thing. Every single day, focus on yourself. Say, hey, what do I need to do to get to where I, I want to go to? What do I need to do to get to where I want to go to? Have a vision board. Say, hey, am I living my best life? What's holding me back? Let me remove some of these limiting belief systems. You see, as soon as you wake up, you want to go through all of these things. You want to strategize. You want to wake up with an agenda, a master plan. This is how to wake up energized. And also, you want to start living a life that inspires you, not a life that you're complaining about. I wake up every single day, deep dives, and I say, thank you so much for this beautiful life. I don't want to trade it with yours. Oh yeah, <laughs> definitely not. I love this life I'm living. This is how you wake up energized. You must be excited, inspired, and enthusiastic about the life you're living. A lot of people, they spend all of their time and energy in a job that they hate only to come home to have no time and energy for the life they're working for. Then they complain about it. Then they blame other people. So you have to remind yourself you have to get into the mindset of saying, I chose this life, I'm accountable, I'm responsible, and I love this life. I'm excited to wake up today because so many beautiful, so many beautiful adventures await me. This is how to wake up energized. Make sure your life is the greatest action movie ever. So many amazing things are happening. Oh my gosh, it's unexpected. There are surprises. A lot of people don't wake up energized because they already know what they're going to do. Predictability creates boredom, which creates fatigue. You have to make your life a wonderful, magical adventure. Freedom. This is how to wake up energized. You want to say, hey, today I'm going to be more free. I'm going to expand my wings even further. A lot of people wake up saying, oh my gosh, I've got another nine hours of this. But that thought makes them incredibly tired because they don't want to be there. You want to start living a life where you want to be. I want to be here. There's no place I'd rather be. That's what I say. There's no place I'd rather be than with the birds, bees, leaves, and trees. This is how to wake up energized. I've got a consultation every single day with Gaia. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. I made this my office, deep divers. So you want to be every single day going to the place which nourishes your soul this is how to wake up energized turn off the tv turn off the bad news turn off all of that heavy energy that's what that's what's keeping you a prisoner that's why you feel tired that's why you're not waking up energized that's why you can't sleep in peace you want to say right now i am letting go of what is not serving me to make space for what inspires me it's not the time that you wake up, that's important. A lot of people say, Ralph, I wake up at four o'clock. I say, okay, but what are you manifesting? There are people who wake up at eight o'clock and they have manifested 10 times more than you. What matters 
is that you wake up with a master plan. What matters is that you wake up in good energy. What matters is that you wake up with total body awareness, have an inner body experience, start meditating. What is meditation? It is the art of absorbing yourself in the present moment, allowing thoughts to come through you without judgment, allowing emotions to come through you without judgment. It is when you absorb yourself in the present moment 100%. Can you be present? Can you keep still? Or do you have to reach for your phone? There's no Wi-Fi around here, deep divers, but I swear you'll find a better connection. We need this better connection to wake up energized. We need a direction, a meaning in our lives, a purpose in our lives. To wake up energized, you must wake up with a purpose, a direction, a focus. You must know what you want. You must surround yourself with people who are lifting you up. There are a lot of energy vampires around. This is the reason why a lot of people don't wake up energized. You talk to someone, they kill your dreams immediately. Do away with those people. Surround yourself with people who you are excited to see during the day. The thought of them alone brings you good energy. You've got to remind yourself, deep divers, let's talk about challenging it's challenging, Ralph, to sleep in peace. There's something called paradoxical intention. And this is what Victor E. Frankl talked of. Anytime when you, you say, hey, I really want to go to sleep, I really want to go to sleep, you create anxiety, anticipatory anxiety, right? And therefore, you can't fall asleep. The moment you say, I don't want to fall asleep because I'm so busy loving the life I'm living, you just drift off. Ever happened to you, deep divers? You don't want to go to sleep because the day is so exciting, right? And you got so much to do at night, but you just drift off, right? Well, you got to learn paradoxical intention. It works. When we talk of the daily routine people must do, every single day, remind yourself that it's a new day. You have no obligation to who you were yesterday. You have no obligation to the person you were yesterday. A lot of people don't wake up energized because they blame themselves for what happened yesterday. They hate themselves for what happened yesterday. They trash talk themselves about what happened yesterday. It's a new day. It's a new dawn. It's a new you. So allow yourself to be reborn every single day and say, hey, I messed up yesterday, but tomorrow I can make things right. I'm the work in progress and the masterpiece at the same time. And I've got so much to do. Give me a chance, universe. I'm going to wake up and I'm going to execute. I'm not going to wish for it. I'm going to make sure I'm stepping into radical action to make it happen. Woo! And that's why I'm just saying, feels so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? Hey. Beautiful deep divers, smash that like button, share this video. Hit that like button, share this video because somebody out there needs to see this. Go and check out the new book, Deep Divers, for more powerful, life-changing information just like this. Feel Alive by Ralph Smart on Amazon and at ralphsmart.com slash the book, the Bible of becoming your greatest version. Also, go and get the new book of infinite quotes by Ralph Smart at ralphsmart.com slash the book, the Bible of becoming your greatest version and all new limited designs, deep divers. Go and get the good ass prana shirts at ralphsmart.com slash clothes and spreadshirt.com if you're in America. If you're a sexy ass model, woo, with a whole lot of heart, you want to model the clothing, well, go and buy some. They tried to bury us, deep divers. They forgot we were seeds. No one is in your way today accept yourself move out of your own way this is how to wake up energized remind yourself you've got so much to accomplish during the day stop resting on your laurels stop thinking that you've made it the journey is just beginning for you and the possibilities are endless wake up with pro noia the whole world is not going against you when you are going for yourself Wake up realizing when you want something, the whole universe conspires to help you achieve it. I like that. Deep divers, you just woke up energized right now. It's starting to feel like that old infinite waters again. One love, peace. Infinite waters diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy, peace. You. Once again, deep divers, smash that like button. 
share this video, subscribe, leave a comment down below of gratitude and appreciation, and let me know how this video inspired you to sleep in peace and wake up energized. There is no change in your life without a change in your daily routine. One love, peace.